In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a strategy to make $500 every day with Google. If you ain't beefing about the money, then what's the problem? Yo, what is going on guys? Paul James here. Welcome back to another video today. I'm so excited you're here, and if you're ready to learn this method of making $500 every day with Google, do me a favor and smash that like button for me. Also, if you're new to the channel and you've never been here before, what is up? Again, my name is Paul James. This is a place where I do step-by-step -step tutorials. I give business I give business advice, I talk about entrepreneurship, so if you're into any of those things, you should drop below the video, hit the subscribe button, and after you subscribe, if you want to comment on my video saying I've subscribed, I'll go back through, I'll read the comment, I will reply to it, welcoming you to the channel because I'm so excited that you're here with us today. So we're doing another intro outside today, guys, because it's just so beautiful out, so probably going to be doing a lot of my intros outside. You know, it was an awesome day. We actually went out rock climbing. If you guys didn't know, I'm an avid rock climber. Took a 510 plus. guys you came here to learn how to make $500 every day with Google let's go ahead let's hop on the computer and break this down all right guys so let's get into this we're gonna start off with using a tripwire in order to make this entire thing work and what a tripwire is if you're not sure a tripwire is basically an introduction service that you're gonna use to basically get the prospects attention it's got to be something that is very kind of like an irresistible offer that they can't say no to something that usually is free or low cost in most cases. So I'm gonna give you an idea of what I think you could use as this, and then the way you're gonna make $500 from Google is you're going to actually work on getting them into Google. I like to get them into the three pack, um, which I'll show you what that means. Um, so let's start with prospecting. Let's just start from kind of square one, prospecting what we're looking for. So I go after what's called low hanging fruit, and low hanging fruit is basically a market so like a, a niche and a location that isn't going to require a whole lot of work to get them ranked. This is great if you're a beginner or if you're younger and you're just kind of dabbling and you're not sure you like what you're doing yet. This is a good way to start with low hanging fruit because it's not going to take a lot of advanced things to get them ranked usually. So what we're going to do is we're going to decide on a dem a target that we want to uh, go after, like a market. Okay, so let's say, for example, we're interested in targeting the city of Grafton and we're interested in going after tree trimmers. So we might type in something like tree trimming Grafton. Now, what we want to do is we want to look for someone who's not in the three pack, but they're right outside of it, meaning they just need a little bit of a boost to get there. So maybe this guy right here, uh, BJ Koi Quality Property Maintenance. So that would be basically setting our sights on a target. This is someone who's not going to need a whole lot of a boost to see some results. So here's the way that we're actually gonna to wanna to prospect. So we're gonna to wanna to set up our tripwire. We'll just say T for tripwire. And basically we're gonna go, we're going to get them to say yes to the tripwire. We're going to provide that service to them. So we'll just put P for provide. And from there, we're gonna hit them with our upsell. And our upsell is going to be the $500 I charge monthly for this usually, uh, just kind of depending. Um, but in most cases, me and most of my students who uh, do this stuff charge $500 a month to $1,000 per month on average. And what that is for is to basically keep them ranked in the top three. So you continue to monitor their rankings and if their competitors start to add in you know, more things that give them a competitive advantage, then you need to go in there and do some more things as well to basically monitor and keep their rankings up. So that's kind of the whole goal of the service. But if you wanted to do a one-off fee just to like make it an easy sell and just kind of a one and done type thing, you could definitely do that too. So we're talking basically, if you can land one of these deals a day, you're making $500 every day basically, if you can do one of these per day. So 
What is the tripwire? Because this is gonna be kind of the most important aspect of this. So the tripwire I like to use is tracking phone numbers and marketing analysis, okay? I'll put that on the screen. Tracking phone slash marketing analysis. Now here's what I mean by that. We're gonna offer a free marketing assessment or analysis to see how their marketing actually works. Really what we're doing is we're gonna basically impose a question. And this is the big question is, where are you spending money on right now on your marketing, right? We wanna find out where they're spending it at. And number two, how are the results? Are you tracking the results? Now, I find that a large majority of the time, business owners aren't actually tracking the results. So let's just, let me give you an example here. Let's say they get a business card printed. They have no idea how many people are calling the phone number on the business card versus let's say they have um, a billboard up. So we'll say th well, this one's bigger. So we'll just assume that this is a billboard. They usually will have the same number on the billboard as they have on their business card, which means that everyone is essentially calling the same number. It's going to the same place. So what you can basically propose is a free suggestion to help them by setting up phone tracking. Now you could even charge for this part if you wanted to, or you could pass the cost onto them and basically let them worry about, you know, um, paying the, the fee for this. But you can set up tracking phone numbers extremely cheap. Now I use a service called callfire.com and I'm not endorsing them in any way or saying you should use them. There's other services out there, but this is one of the companies that we use. We have a couple accounts with them. We have a couple accounts with Twilio. Um, there's some other services out there too. Just do your research depending on what country you're in because you can do this method in any country. Um, you know, go out there and research. But this is one of my accounts. So basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to unblur some of this stuff. Obviously these are clients, so I can't uh, unblur all of it or you'll see their information, but I'll try to unblur part of it. Basically what's going on here is we're taking their main office phone number and we're setting up a tracking phone number where, so say we set up one tracking phone number for the business card, one tracking number for their billboard. So two separate phone numbers, but we forward those phone numbers to the same place. But I want you to pay attention to what happens here. You see here, we can see now this customer has a total number of 1,045 calls. We can actually track every single month how many calls are coming in from that specific tracking phone number. So it doesn't require them to have to get like two separate phones. That's what a lot of business owners think and why they neglect doing this in the first place. They think, okay, we're gonna have to get separate phone lines and answer separate phones. No, you just pay for this tracking phone number which costs you like $3 and then a dollar per month after that to keep it going. And from there, you have that phone number. You can put the one phone number on your business cards, put one phone number on your billboards, use another phone number for your website. And every single month now, you can actually track and see what's coming in. So my suggestion is, is either set these up for your customers. You could charge them to do this even, which is great or you could just set up a separate call fire account for them. And, and if you want to just kind of go in there and set it up and kind of use that as, you know, a way to get your foot in the door to separate yourself from the rest of the competition, you could do that as well. But it's a really great way, right? So this is your tripwire and it's, it's adding a lot of value because now, you know, they have separate phone numbers on their business cards, separate phone numbers on their billboards. Every month they can see what's working, what's not, which is going to allow them to kill off what isn't working. So let's say they kill off the billboard. They find out the billboard's not working and they were spending, I don't know, maybe they're spending $5,000 a month on billboard. Well, now that's $5,000 of advertising budget that's freed up from that billboard now. And uh, guess who they might be willing to pay a little bit of money to? You, right? Because you added a ton of value to them. So whenever I'm trying to sell, whether it be you know my products that provide information, whether it be working with local business owners, whether it be designing websites, whether it be through ads, I'm always trying to provide value first. And this is a big takeaway that I always want you guys to get from my videos is to serve first, sell second, because I promise you guys that the sales will come if you have you know that, that mindset. It's worked for me anyways. So uh, what are you gonna need to do? Well, I have a lot of information on my YouTube channel already about how to provide the service to get them ranking higher in the map. So go search through my YouTube channel and watch some of those videos. I have a playlist created in my YouTube channel called SEO for Dummies. 
Um, so you can go check that out, which is free. Um, one suggestion would be to download uh, the Yoast plugin because just changing some on-site metadata might be enough in a scenario like this where they're almost there, um, they're not far away. So that would be one suggestion, would be Yoast, download that and install it on their WordPress site. Another suggestion would be to get citations. Citations are other directory sites like Yelp, like Angie's List. Go out there and get them listed, their name, their address, and their phone number. So in this case, BJ Coy Quality Property Maintenance, we would list their name, their address, and their phone number on Yelp, on Angie's List, on Merchant Circle, whatever directory sites we can find. And this is gonna be kind of like a two-prong approach to actually get them um, just a little bit. We're not trying to do a ton of work here, right? That's why we're trying to find someone who's low hanging fruit, but that could be enough to get them that actual boost that they need. And again, I've got lots of tutorials for free up here on YouTube if you want to check those out. And I've also got a webinar. If it, you want something in a more organized fashion, you want to check out some of my info products, you know, go check out and register for that webinar. I'll leave a link in the description for that. But in a nutshell, guys, this is the overall strategy, right? Tripwire, which marketing analysis with tracking phone numbers is a great way because it really um, provides a, a clear indicator of where they're spending money and what's working, what's not working. It allows them to free up some of that advertising budget then and then in turn uh, pay it to you. They're actually saving money, right? Like if they're paying you $500 a month and you just save them 5,000, well, they're actually making an extra $4,500 a month. So there it is guys, in a nutshell, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to smash the like button, and we'll see you in the next video. I am Paul James, peace out.